Hi there guys and welcome to a quick and easy tutorial on how to install a Minecraft mod. Now I've seen 10 year olds do this, so it's not hard, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. And there will be a couple file programs that you have to download, and I'll try to keep those download links in the description, and I'll have annotations walking you through what to do here, if you can't follow me like that. So, without any other chitter chatter, let's get to the point. First of all, I have too many items mod and Ray's minimap mod here that I want in my Minecraft game because they are really cool mods. Uh, too many items allows cheating and Ray's minimap allows uh, a minimap, of course, up there so that you can see what you're doing and I think they're really good mods so I want them in my game, how do I get them there? First of all we have to find where to put them in. So a lot of people go down and type in percent app data percent in the startup menu and that'll bring you to app data but I find it easier just to either go right here or just go to your user file. Gary is the name of the user of this computer that I'm using. Now I can go to app data and now I will see these three things. You want to click on roaming. So remember roaming is the one you want to go to. Then you will see these uh, options right here. And I'm going to go to Minecraft because that's where you want to go to. And this is kind of the inside, the makeup of Minecraft, what happens behind the scenes. I've been in here a lot, so forgive me if I go too fast. What you want to go is to, you want to go to the bin file. So once we're in the bin file, you'll see these, and it just keeps getting more and more complicated. Right now, here is the Minecraft jar. And this is the main Minecraft file that holds all of the things that make up Minecraft. But I've already got modifications in this jar that I'm using currently right now. So I'm also using this as an example to show you that you can use two jars at the same time. All we have to do is name this Minecraft No. And since it's not named Minecraft Jar anymore, it won't interfere with this one and it probably won't stop the gameplay. So you can pick any name you want as long as it signifies that it is not using that jar. Now we have this other Minecraft Jar that I've downloaded fresh that doesn't have any modifications and I will drag that in here. So now this is the Minecraft jar we're going to be using. Now, here comes the part where you have to download programs. I'm going here and as you can see I've got a two uh, programs here. One is called WinRare and that's a very common file to open up zips and stuff like that and also RAR files which in the name implies. I also like to use 7-zip file manager. They're both, they both go really well together I think they make a great team. Some people just use Win WinRAR, but I like to use 7-Zip. So I'm going to open up 7-Zip first. And now we are in the Minecraft folder in 7-Zip. You just navigate there the same way I did, I showed you. And now here's the Minecraft jar. So normally in your computer you could not open up the Minecraft jar, but now you can. With 7-Zip you can go right into the Minecraft jar. And here are all the folders and files like classes, these things make up Minecraft, it's Java code things. So now that we've got this open, this is where we're going to drag and drop the mods. First, Rise Minimap and Too Many Items, I'm not sure that both of them do, but they one of them at least needs Mod Loader. Mod Loader is a very common um, mod loader, as the name implies, as is Minecraft Forge, but today I'm not going to be using any Forge mods, I'm going to be using Mod Loader mods. So what do you do to get Mod Loader in here and to get these things working with Mod Loader? First of all, we have to click on Mod Loader and this will open up with WinRAR. Now you can see all these class files, just like the ones in here, these add things to the game. So this is the modification. Right here, first of all, your worst enemy is see this meta-inf file. This is going to stop all mods from working. It's its job. So what you want to do is right away delete that and you do want to get rid of that altogether so now we do not have the meta inf that's a very important step no mods will work with that in there and now that we've got that out of the way we can highlight all these things not the top folder though because that's just to get you back on WinRare and all these class files and take them and drag them all into the Minecraft jar and we say yes we want to copy those in there so now we have all the mod loader things in the Minecraft jar so that's good we can close this off and so now our uh, Minecraft can download mods. And another thing you're going to see, I'll just close that off and go back here, 
is that now you have a mods folder. As soon as you start up Minecraft after you do this, you'll have a mods folder. Since I already started it up before time, I already have it. But right now, I'm going to drag and drop Ray's minimap in here. And now, some mods will work just by dropping it into this folder. This is where all the mod loader mods go. And they can be put right here. Uh, too many items I don't think works that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into 7-zip. And I'm going to go back to the Minecraft jar. And just drag the files of too many items into the jar directly. You can do any mod this way or any mod that works with mod loader or forge. You can just drag and drop in it into the mods folder. So we can put all these right here and now the too many items classes are inside the Minecraft jar. And since the Minecraft jar can now open the files in the mods folder, all we have to do is go to our Minecraft exec and start that up. So hopefully everything will work here. I think I've done everything right and we can log in. And as you can see, it'll update Minecraft, go to Mojang, and here we go. So, we have this all working, and let's see. Um, let's create a new world, and let's see if these... Actually, I'm just going to go to my old world, because it would take too long to create a new world. Now we're going to see if these mods work. Yep, and as you can see, up in the corner, we have Ray's minimap working. So that is very good. And now we've got everything all set, and yep, we got too many items on too. So this is a tutorial on how to s install Minecraft mods, and I think it, it did work. I'm actually surprised I got it on my first try. But as you can see up there, Minecraft mods really improve the gameplay of Minecraft. I love them. I love to use them all over every kind of Minecraft mod I love. I don't like to overstock on them or anything, but... Anyway, this was a tutorial on how to install Minecraft mods. So you just drag and drop them there. We'll go over this one more time after I exit this off and we can go back into here and we can go back to our app data folder and I'll just kind of walk you through this again we just have the minecraft jar that is the uh, base of all minecraft stuff drag mod loader or forge in there forge works pretty much the same way since it will also create a mods folder so uh, you can do that and then drag and drop any mods that say to be dropped into the mods folder into there uh, another thing that you have to be aware of, always read the topics of the mods you're going to download. Always read the FAQs and the how to install section before you go and try this yourself. Because it will tell you other programs that you need. And this uh, formula will work for those programs too. So that is how to manually install mods. And that does work. But I'm going to show you another way. Uh, right here, we're going to name our old Minecraft jar... Minecraft jar no because we don't want to use that one now hold on I already have that one named so I'm gonna name this Minecraft no 2 and then I'm gonna take this and rename it Minecraft jar so this is my modded one now and we'll shrink this down go back to our mods folder and now we have this in here but I am going to uh, take the custom mob spawner and Dr. Zark Smo creatures and drop them in here because this is what I'm going to be showing you next. So now we have all these things in here. Now I'm going to show you a way to automatically install mods so it makes it quite a bit easier. What I'm going to do is start up the Magic Minecraft Launcher. Uh, I probably have the download link for that one too. And you can start this up. It's a lot of a better launcher than the Minecraft Launcher. You can go to the wiki and all that stuff. But the most important thing is that you can click setup here and you can manage all your mods from in here so I have a portal gun mod that I can remove and in turtle mod like yeah it's in there already and we're working with this so this is it's good we can remove raise minimap now because we already have that inside or or not if it doesn't want to let me but anyway now you can log in and you can manage all your minecraft things like this so it'll work automatically and it'll be a lot faster forge mod loaders found a problem with your minecraft instantly oh it's just the raise minimap don't worry about that it makes me look bad though no as long as i didn't have raise minimap in there twice but uh regardless of that this magic launcher makes everything a lot easier you can install optifine mo creatures whatever mod you want very quickly as long as you have all the files that you need you can just press add and it'll uh, negate the need for this 7-zip and WinRAR. 
But any way you want to do it, that is how to do it very easily and hopefully quickly. I don't know quite how long this video has been going. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave a thumbs up so other people can see and consider subscribing. I have some series going on right now that you might be interested in. But enough of the chitter chatter. I will see you guys next time and thank you for watching. Goodbye.